Thank you, Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes to my very good friend, distinguished veteran, served in the United States in a variety of capacities in and out of uniform, Mr. Zinke of Montana. Gentleman from Montana is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of a select committee to investigate the weaponization of the federal government, something I have a lot of experience firsthand. I proudly served as the 52nd Secretary of Interior, and despite the deep state's repeatedly attempts to stop me, I stand before you as a duly elected member of the United States Congress and tell you that a deep state exists and it is perhaps the strongest covert weapon the left has against the American people. There is no doubt the federal government deep state coordinates with liberal activists and uses politicians and willing media to carry their water. The deep state runs secret messaging campaigns with one goal in mind, to increase its power to censor and persuade the American people. Dark money groups funded by liberal billionaires and foreign investors funnel money to shell organizations and repeatedly attempt to destroy the American West. In many cases, they want to wipe out the American cowboy completely remove public access to our lands, and turn Montana into a national park. They want to control our land and our lifestyle. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to submit a five-part five series of investigative articles by the Capitol Research Center entitled, Arabella's Long War, Keep It in the Ground, into the congressional record. We all knew politics was ugly, but we need to investigate and uncover corruption no matter where it lies. It's time to bring light to the shadows of the deep state and do our duty. Mr. Speaker, I hope my colleagues and I will join me in supporting this critical piece of oversight investigations. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.